This presentation covers the paper titled Improving Fairness in Deepfake Detection, accepted by WACV 2024. Deepfakes refer to the combination of deep learning and fake, encompassing any fake content generated by deep learning models. Currently, deepfake technology has gained considerable popularity due to the advancements in AI-based generation tools. Deepfakes now include various forms, such as images, videos produced by identity swapping techniques. Face reenactment techniques and more. With the development of deepfake generation, more and more deepfake detectors are proposed to mitigate the impact of such fake content. However, recent works show that current deepfake detectors exhibit unfairness. They may demonstrate inconsistent performance across different groups, such as gender, age, and ethnicity. Here is an example from these works. Figure 1 illustrates the false positive rate, FPR, signifying the misclassification of real as fake, among various groups, male Caucasian, female Caucasian, female African, female Asian, female Indian, etc. However, the figure reveals disparities in FPR, suggesting that female Asians or female Africans are 1.5 to 3 times more likely to be mistakenly labeled as fake than male Caucasians. This indicates bias against millions of people in large-scale commercial applications. So, how can we make current deepfake detectors fairer for different groups? Table 1 shows that several works have exposed the unfairness in deepfake detection. Among these, only one work attempted to solve this issue at the data level, assuming that the key reason for the unfairness is the imbalance of different demographic groups in the training data. They constructed a balanced training data set where every demographic group has an equal number of training data. However, collecting a larger balanced data set can be costly and labor intensive. As far as we know, no existing work solve unfairness in deepfake detection at the algorithm level. There are also some conventional fairness methods, but using them directly faces challenges due to the added complexity of deepfake detection. Specifically, both the imbalance between real versus fake and the imbalance across demographic groups should be considered. Therefore, developing more effective bias mitigating deepfake detection solutions remains an open challenge. We propose two fair deepfake detection methods, DAGFDD and DAFDD, designed for training fair deepfake detection models, with or without demographic information. Here is an example of demographic annotation of a training identity describing the gender, age, and race group it belongs to. Unfortunately, most deepfake datasets don't provide such details. Hence, if such annotation is unavailable, we can adopt the proposed DAGFDD. If we have these annotations, we can utilize the proposed DAFDD method. We will delve into the details of these two methods. For DAGFDD, can be applied when demographic annotations of training data are unavailable. It's an application of the CVAR method for the fair deepfake detection task. Because we don't know which demographic group each training sample belongs to, the goal of this method is to ensure that all groups, with at least a specified occurrence probability, have low error. Specifically, we assume that each group occurs with a probability. Then, we can minimize an empirical version of CVAR, as shown in equation 1 to ensure that all unknown latent groups have low error, despite us not explicitly knowing these latent groups. DAFDD can be applied when training data has demographic annotations. The goal is to ensure that the losses achieved by different user-specified groups, for example, different races or genders, are similar to each other, and the losses across all groups are low. The key idea behind this method is to address the imbalance in demographic groups through a group-level CVAR loss with equation 2. To compute this group-level CVAR loss, we compute each group's loss function using equation 3, which is a form of a CVAR loss specifically designed for addressing the imbalance in real versus fake examples. In the experiment, we utilize four commonly used deepfake video datasets to evaluate our methods. The number of samples and the attributes of each dataset are shown in Table 2. We employ two groups of metrics to evaluate the performance. The first group is fairness metrics, containing the maximum gap of false positive rate, GFPR, 
equal false positive rate, FFPR, and equal odds, FEO. These metrics measure the gap across groups, where smaller values represent a fairer method. Sometimes, although each group has similar performance, the overall performance is poor, making it less ideal for real-world applications. There is typically a trade-off between fairness and detection performance. Therefore, we also employ four commonly used deepfake detection metrics, area under the curve AUC, false positive rate, FPR, misclassified real as fake, true positive rate, TPR, and accuracy, ACC. Higher values denote better detection performance. We conducted extensive experiments. The first part involves applying our methods to two popular deepfake detection models, Exception and Recce on the FF++ dataset, comparing them with the original method without any fairness constraints, several conventional fairness methods, and data-level fairness methods. From these two tables, our two methods achieve good fairness without sacrificing detection performance too much. We also present the FPR of each group, as shown originally, the maximum FPR gap is 17.93 between the male other group and the female Asian group. After using our methods, the differences drop to 9.65 and 6.61, which are fairer than the original methods. The second part involves applying our methods to exception models on the other four deepfake datasets. This table shows that our methods outperform the original method on all three datasets across all groups and most fairness metrics, especially on the intersection group. The third part involves applying our methods to various deepfake detection models. It is evident that our methods can improve the fairness performance of the detectors without significantly decreasing the detection performance. To sum up, in this paper, DAWFDD and DAGFDD are proposed for training fair deepfake detection models, with or without demographic information. Extensive experiments on four deepfake datasets and five deepfake detectors demonstrate their effectiveness and flexibility. The limitation of our methods is that they rely on the assumption that loss functions can be decomposed into individual terms, allowing us to apply our methods to the classification part. Regarding future work, it would be interesting to explore if current fairness methods can generalize to unseen deepfake detectors. Please scan these barcodes for more details about our paper and code if you are interested. Thank you.